What's going on today, internet? I am Mr. Selfish. This right here is Batteries Not Included, and I'm having withdrawals from being able to play my PlayStation this week. So let's just fucking start the show already. So you wanna know what it's like to live like a man? You're in luck. It's selfish, yeah. Batteries Not Included. As you might know, it's actually been. Two weeks, almost. Almost an entire two weeks the PlayStation Network has been down and my credit card information might be out there. Oh wait, I used somebody else's credit card information? My credit card information isn't out there so I'm not worried about this at all, but my friend actually might be because he used his credit card on my machine and I always seem to accidentally charge things to his card. Don't worry, I buy him beer afterwards. Sony is announcing that they will be putting the PlayStation Network back online sometime this week, or at least parts of the Sony PlayStation Network back online at parts of the week in different intervals in order to prevent hackers from getting back in. And then they're gonna add a whole bunch of other security crap that you gotta type in. As we all know, more security means slower gameplay. So I guess we'll see what happens. Shockwaves. The hacker group Anonymous actually says that they are going to shut down Iran or something fucking like that. I don't even know. The only thing that's scary about this group is that they can decide what they want to attack at any time without any governing force. And there's only about 200 of them out there that are part of this group and they can take down entire governments. Or in this case, I think they're going to take down the internet in Iran. Because if we take away Farmville from the politicians, they're likely to collapse and give everybody what they want. We'll see what happens. Shockwaves. In case you're sitting around today and you're trying to figure out what you should do like I was earlier with my girlfriend and you want to do something as a couple, I've got just the thing for you. It kind of came out this week. It's technology meets mechanics, I guess. Fuck, I don't even know. So what they did is they actually created a scooter that goes underwater. And you got this big bubble over your head so you can breathe and you can drive around and all that other stuff. So if you want to go somewhere with your girlfriend but you can't hear her nagging at you, this actually might be the right solution for you. Check the link below. There's an article about it. Shockwaves. One of my favorite finds this week in this dull ass news week was the obesity rates in the United States. So from 1985 to 2009, the data has been collected for obesity rates. I don't think we collected it before 85 because McDonald's really wasn't around back then to the extent that it is today. So these obesity rates actually were put into a video and it shows you how fast the United States actually got fat. Wait, we're fat in the US? I don't feel fat. All this really did is made me want to get myself a Big Mac, extra value meal with a supersized fry. That's all I'm saying. Shockwaves. So if you're feeling fat, then I actually have a solution for you for that as well. From technology this week, there's actually a shape-shifting couch that was invented where you hit a button and the couch actually kind of blows up a little bit. So your fat ass can sit down and play video games. Once the PlayStation Network gets back online, that is. Shockwaves. There's a funny video out this week about how girls actually like to watch porn. It's actually based off of a study that was taken. So women actually like to watch porn as much as guys do. And I started thinking about this and I was like, it doesn't really make sense. But if you start reading about it, they actually like the intimate part of pornography. And then I started thinking about all those books that they read with Fabio on the cover and how steamy those things are supposed to be. I've never read one. I would never admit if I actually had. What girls like is porn that is actually intimate. So guys, if you want to get your lady to watch porn with you and maybe spark that moment, this might actually be the right answer for you. The link, it's down there in the thingamabob. Click it, it'll give you all the details. Shockwaves. This is going to be the episode of Princesses. So we're going to start off with Princess Peach. If you don't remember Princess Peach, she's actually the princess in Mario Brothers. And there's some pictures out there posting of Princess Peach. So she's been off her toadstool for a while in the Mario series, but yet she's out there and she's starting to post for magazines. Or maybe not. I don't even know if I can flash this picture, so I'll just put a link down there. But somebody actually created a picture of Princess Peach with a little side boob action. I think you'll like it. I don't know why, it's kind of sick and fucked up, actually. Shockwaves. My, just the tip this week, if you're going to wear a dress that shows off your nipples, make sure that they can shoot lasers out of them. Shockwaves. If you're sick of hearing about the William and Kate marriage as much as I, fuck it, I'm going to name them Bill and Kate. So if you're sick of, is, is sick of, uh, yeah, oh, fuck. If you're sick of hearing about the Bill and Kate marriage as I am this week, because every time I flip on a damn channel, that's all anybody is talking about. I can't even watch Chelsea lately because I got to watch some stupid E! Entertainment special on the stupid marriage, then you're going to enjoy this part because there's only one good thing that I've seen out of this entire thing and it catches my eye every single time. Kate has her nipples sticking out of her dress. 
If you don't believe me, click the link down below. It'll show you one picture or watch all those fucking video reruns that are playing on every station right now and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure when you're the princess, you actually can shoot lasers out of your nipples. Shockwaves. That's all I got for you today. I'm batteries not included. Don't forget to click the links down there in my thingamabob. And if you click the little button, my thingamabob actually gets bigger. Sorry ladies, I didn't mean to make you blush. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to this video and this channel. Click the links and I am out of here. Batteries not included. What, you thought I forgot the hashtag of the week? I didn't. I didn't forget the hashtag of the week because I never forget the hashtag that you guys always think that I do, but I put it right here at the end of the video for a reason, so it's always in the same spot so you guys always know where it's gonna be at. The hashtag this week, laser nipples. I don't even know why I think that that's funny, but hey, Hashtag that out. I don't know, maybe include some pictures or something of people that might have laser nipples. I don't know. Figure it out. That's what you guys do. Every week you guys figure it out and then you guys just let me know what you're going to do with it. So laser nipples is the hashtag this week. Let's have some fun. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Your mom always does. That the people that say that winning isn't everything are probably the people that never win. Fuck, I don't even know why the hell this is even an important story. Hey, it's technology. You can't have a fast week every week. Wait, technology progresses faster and faster all the time? Well, fuck it. It didn't this week. Fucking start the show already. Hey,